What's up guys, Dr. Feel Good here, back again with another video prescription. And today I'm going to piss off a lot of people. It's going to be some salty tears. I'm going to come at a particular group of people kind of hard. Why is that? I'm going to talk about the most relevant, irrelevant company out there. Nintendo, that's right. You know, the company that every dude bro gamer says is irrelevant and behind the times yet that's all you talk about if you think about it even people that have the youtubes that have large channels mostly bash nintendo that's pretty much how they even get their channel started or maintain just just perpetuating that hate that narrative but i'm going to go into more details so in order to basically call them on their bullshit. Let's go ahead and get started. You say Nintendo is irrelevant. Yet when it comes to these fan made games. Aren't they usually comprised of Nintendo IPs? I mean recently we uh, I saw an article regarding an online Super Mario 64. Super Mario 64 with online multiplayer. Do you know how old that game is? Huh. I have a question. Do you see anybody trying to make a online God of War 1? God of War 2? Anybody? Hmm. What about a Blinks the Time Cat and Unreal Engine? Has anybody heard any word of such a game, such a project by fans? Hmm. Just thought I'd ask because Nintendo's so irrelevant, but yet you have all these fans, these quote unquote talented fans remaking Metroid and Unreal Engine and Mario Sunshine and Unreal Engine and Mario 64 and Unreal Engine and now with online multiplayer. I mean, come on. I mean, you're so talented, Nintendo's behind the times, won't you make your own IP? Shouldn't be too hard, right? To come up with your own IP and what it involves, the theme, everything about it, and use that same engine, that same talent to make your own game? Oh, it is hard to do it all from the ground up, huh? Which is why you keep choosing Nintendo IPs, because I guess Sony and Microsoft don't have any other popular IPs that you can use in that regard, right? Let's keep going. Do you hear about plans to remake the first Knack? <laughs> How about Twisted Metal? I love that game. You know, little vehicle arena shooter. I, I love the Twisted Metal franchise. I haven't heard any about any fans remaking that first or second game. Yeah, I think it would be nice if they did it today. But I, I don't hear about these things. Huh. I don't hear about a fan made Grand Theft Auto San Andreas or Panzer Dragoon. These are cult hits, more or less. I mean, I'm pretty sure some fan out there would love to see these games done in the modern times, you know, done you know, two or three gens later with more powerful hardware, right? Using better engines. How how about this? How about a fan made Street Fighter Alpha or better yet, rival schools? No one no one's done that yet? Any word on that? Anybody? Because I love Rival Schools. I still had the game. I would love to for a group of fans to remake that remake that game in Unreal Engine 4 or whatever engine. Unity. With new textures. Maybe 4K. <laughs> I would love to see that. But I haven't heard about any of the aforementioned games. But yet, fans love the IPs of this irrelevant company so much that they actually remade almost from the ground up Smash Brothers Melee. They actually made, you know, of course, Project M, adding new moves, special 
you know, special moves, new attacks to many of the characters. And to this day, it's still played in tournaments. Imagine that a fan made game is popular in a tournament. Huh, man. I wonder, has anyone tried to remake any fans, you know, Bloody Roar? I love that game, but Bloody Roar. Hmm. I mean, since they can go so far with Melee, right? But Nintendo is irrelevant. But any fan made versions of Tekken 2, Tekken 3, those are considered some of the best in the uh, IP's history. Any fan made versions of that? You know, rebalanced, retweaked? Hmm. What about Virtual Fighter? Is there a fan made Virtual Fighter out there? I love Virtual Fighter. I know. How about this? Is there a fan made version of Dead or Alive? Maybe all the tits are hanging out. No clothes whatsoever. That's popular with a certain group of individuals. <laughs> I think fans of those games will want to jump on that. You ain't even gotta remake the game, just take off all the, the textures, the bikini textures. Is there a fan made version of that? No? This is an irrelevant company, right? No one cares about Nintendo. Nintendo is so irrelevant that you have fans and certain people trying to remake or mod their hardware. To play their software. Raspberry Pi, anyone? Mm-hmm. Didn't a lot of people purchase a Vita and mod the son of a bitch to play Nintendo games? You know, em you know, via emulation? Seriously? I'm not sure that was um, being done on the Vita as well, but most certainly the PSP. And you hear about these retro consoles that can play Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis and things like that. But they're such an irrelevant company. But has any third party company made a system that can play PlayStation 1 and 2, Sega Saturn and Dreamcast games and um, uh, Xbox and Xbox 360 games, you know, all at once? Anybody? But I already hear, heard about a mod of NES Classic. In which they took the 30 games and made it play like, I think, over 80. Hmm. So irrelevant. Yet all people do is bite their shit. Try to find ways to recreate it. Make it better. And then they think they've done something so great. You did something to a game that was made on technology over 15, 20 years old. You're not special. I give you credit. I admire your in. I admire your motivation. I admire the fact that you love the IP so much. You want to see it remade. I, I can appreciate that, but I'm merely right now talking to the fans that always have something to say when Nintendo has a takedown, when they do a takedown, or Nintendo is irrelevant based on the way they do things, or they're a relevant company. Who cares about Mario and Metroid and Zelda? Huh? They're so irrelevant that I think even in regards to the Switch, there are two indie games that were recently released or are going to be released that surprisingly play a lot like Zelda. I can't think of their names right now, but yeah. But they're so irrelevant, right? They're so irrelevant that once again, Sony is trying to copy them. Oh, yeah. Sony tried to copy them when it came to the Wii, when they created the move to combat the Wiimote, and then when it came to the um, the Wii U, they tried to add the whole you know six axis thing, uh, uh, you know, along with um, what well, six axis what I think was on the PS3, but they tried to make the whole um, Vita. Play or one on whatever, cross play, whatever you, whatever the hell it's called. No, I'm sorry, remote play. 
which is very cumbersome. Only a few games supported it and it didn't work that well or so I heard. But yeah, and now here we are once again, they're trying to they released the the prototype or whatever or drawing or whatnot of their answer to the switch, supposedly, and it looks atrocious. But yeah, they're so damn irrelevant. Here's something else. Um, people are trying to even emulate games like Breath of the Wild. This is a recent game. It came out just six, seven months ago, people. You mean to tell me? Nintendo is so irrelevant that someone's trying to emulate Breath of the Wild. And in 4K. But they're irrelevant, right? I would think if they're so irrelevant, that means there's a lot of people out there trying to emulate infamous Second Son. Right? Maybe they're trying to emulate Last Guardian. Bloodborne? <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just saying. I know. Maybe we'll see Knack 1 in 4K. Or maybe PlayStation All-Stars. Someone to try to make that better. Hmm. I wonder if we'll see a fan made version of. Let me see. What should I pick? A better version of Horizon Zero Dawn. Let's see if a fan is going to try to make that game in 4K. But instead of better textures, maybe you can just give it better voiceovers. <laughs> this company is so irrelevant that people are begging for a GameCube virtual console. A GameCube virtual console. Yet, I don't hear anyone begging for a PS1, PS2 virtual console. And I know the PS3 can play PS1 games. If you have the original fat version, you can play even PS2 games. But... I don't hear anyone begging for, you know, PS1, PS2, virtual console, like the entire library of games. I, I don't hear about that. I don't hear anyone from Microsoft, even though they just now added original Xbox emulation. Still, I don't, that was, was that something people were begging for? I didn't hear a lot of chatter about that. I'm not saying it never happened. I can appreciate it. I still have my original Xbox, but that's not something I heard a lot about. All I'm simply saying, people, you want to call this company irrelevant. You're the ones I'm talking to right now. But yet, all I see is everyone, including yourselves, copying Nintendo or using Nintendo's IPs. One of the two. I'm just saying. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about this in the comments. And as I always say, keep it gaming.